Hey Remodel Holics, welcome back to our DIY channel. I'm Cassidy and I am here to show you my baking drawer. Because my kitchen isn't very big, I am actually just dedicating one drawer to a baking center and it's a great way to corral all of your different items, sugars and cocoa and flour, things like that in one place. So I have been collecting all of my baking items in the baking drawer, but there is no organization. It is a total utter mess and I know it needs to be taken care of. So we're going to do that today. Our date pieces, nice cocoa powder, apparently I like chocolate, cocoa, 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 cocoa. Okay. I am going to empty everything out because there are some things that don't belong in here. And then there are things that we are definitely going to keep. You guys, this is so gross, but don't you feel better about yourself? I hope. My shame is your better feelings. I'm gonna start by vacuuming as much of the dry stuff out as possible so that I don't get it wet and cement it into the cracks. Okay, the drawer is clean. All right, so I'm going to start filling containers with whatever I've decided to go in them. I'm not gonna use everything. I bought these super affordable containers at Walmart and this is where the bulk of my products are gonna go. We have another video where we use these containers in our pantry, so you can go check that out. I'll link above. I will also have a link in the description box below where you can get these containers for yourself. Put whatever you use most in your containers and make sure that the containers aren't too small that you have to refill them every time you bake something. Keep labels simple, don't overthink it. Remember, products get switched out as you use them and you don't want to have to buy new labels every time. So an at-home printable label is a good option. I decided to go with the wet erase markers and then covering them with transparent tape to avoid them getting wiped off until I am ready to change the container out. We have a really great editable and home printable label system that you can fill in whatever you want. So it's a good option if you want to have a more clean look on your labels. Just check above, we'll have a link to where you can get them. For similar items that are just small leftover bags, I put them all in one container to corral them in one place. The beauty of the wet erase markers is that you can write them on containers that you also don't plan on switching out, like coconut oil and things like that. I also painted mine to match the rest of the containers. So our cabinets are from Ikea, and um, we have the, let's see, Maximira. They're little like, just drawer dividers. So I'm gonna use some of those. Okay, so here's the drawer, and here's what I've been messing around with. I really like the way these look in a straight line. I can read what's in them. So let me pull these out so you can kind of see. I put this drawer divider in. It does make it kind of tight. And then I have this one. So, here. all right, so we have our containers. So that's where we're at right now. There is a little bit of mess inside the drawer, so I bought these jars, the smaller ones and the larger ones. And I also bought these white lids so that we can write on them to match the Better Homes and Gardens containers. I washed all the lids and the jars and I'm going to put the smaller products in these jars and label them.
this is bugging me so I am going to show you how one thing you could do if you buy the same container all the time you can get the lid off and in order to keep it food safe I'm going to take this blue tape and tape it nice and tight to the inside of the container All right, now that that tape is on this lid, I'm just gonna go spray paint the top white. Because I wrote this on with wet eraser, I am gonna wipe it off because I don't want that to ruin the adhesion of the paint. Okay, so we have the lid painted. We can take this off and there isn't any paint under there. There we go, we can write the name on it, put it back on and put it back in the drawer. All right, here is the after. It looks so great. I'm super happy I painted that. I think it looks so much better in here and they still sell this size of container. So every time I get a new container of coconut oil, I will just replace the top with the old lid so that I don't have to repaint it. And it just looks really nice. Remember, any of these can be switched out at any time. We have a couple extra containers. It's just so easy and so nice to keep this clean. And when I had a baking drawer in my last house, it was really easy to keep up with. So let's check out the before. And the after. If you like this drawer, be sure to check out this video of how we organized our pantry and this playlist of other organization ideas. See you later.